Hi guys, today I'm going to be making um, shrimp and noodles with my grandma. Um, I'm so happy I get to share this cherishment and she's going to be teaching me some cool stuff. Um, so this won't be very long. We're just going to be boiling it on the stove and all. It's not like freshly made noodles like where you like bake them and all, but no. Um, we're doing noodles from the store and some frozen shrimp. Not frozen fish. Oh, fresh shrimp. Sorry. Fresh shrimp. And, um, so let's go. Um, so what you'll need is, um, some noodles. Yeah. Um, you can use, um, cold shrimp. If you want to use frozen shrimp, you may need to, like, boil it on the stove. Or, and then you can put it into here. Um, we're using fresh shrimp. We just microwaved it in the oven for five minutes. Yeah, two weeks. Uh, two minutes. Um, you can put in water. It's actually really good to put in the water. So um, put um, drain the water, drain the water, and then uh, so okay. So let's start. So put your noodles in the microwave for two minutes. Yes. Okay. Now your two minutes is up. Um, this, I know it's going a little fast. So you can pause it. Um, once you're done, you're gonna. There should be water in there if you do not. Don't, do not have water in there. That's okay. Uh, you sh like it. You should have put water before. I think we all know that. You're gonna also need butter. But before you get that, um, you're gonna be draining um, the water in the noodles on the in the sink. Um, I'm gonna give you guys like one minute. Okay. Next, um, get slices of butter and put them on the stove with. What else do you put on the stove? Oil. Just melt it. Wait, what else did you put on there before? Just little oil. Just some oil? Wait, what kind of oil? Uh, white oil. White oil? Canola oil. Canola oil. So put canola oil. If you don't and have butter. that oil, you can use whatever you need. And then put butter. Get some, you don't need that much butter. You only need like a few little um, squares. You don't need that much. Not to be so chunky. And you're gonna let that on the let that um, just boil, and you want to make sure it's sizzling. Let me show you how I is looking. So you want it to just um, wait till it sizzles, and then you're gonna put garlic powder, just a little bit. You don't want that much. You can add like a, maybe a half of a teaspoon. You don't need that yeah, much. Half of a teaspoon, and then you can mix that up on the stove if you need to. So it just yeah, thank sizzles you, thank you. up. Yes. All at once. And then you're gonna put um, salt. Yes. You only need a little bit, um, a little sprinkle, not that much. Um, so let that go. This is how ours looks. Um, just a little pinch of salt. You don't need. You don't need that much. And then you're gonna use your um, spatula to slowly put the shrimp onto the uh, mixture that you made. Um, oh yeah. So. Um, it should, like, since if your shrimp is cold, then really what's going to happen is you can just leave it on the stove for a few minutes, like, because it's still going to be frozen when you do it. So let me show you how. Okay, then you're going to add a little bit of black pepper, just like maybe like a pinch of black pepper, like I told you, for um, s uh, salt. Or you can add uh, maybe a third teaspoon, like, you don't need that much. So this is how ours looks so far. Um, please send me pictures of how you guys' turns out. Um, so you're still on um, your um, shrimp. We're not on our noodles yet. Um, but they sh you can just leave when them. When the shrimp color change, then you put it. Yeah. When the shrimp's um, color changes like a different one, it pink. When it, when it turns pink. Not like bright pink when it turns no, no, like light to a pink, a light pink, then you add your noodles in. So like right now ours is a yellow, so we're waiting it for turn to, to, for it to turn. Not to like match the turn, but for like to wait for it's when it's burnt or not burnt, but cooked enough that so right now it's kinda raw, so we're waiting, we're waiting for it to um, really become perfect so we can add the noodles in and then it's shrimp and noodles. So this is a really yummy um, food. It's an easy way. Um, but when you like make normal, when you make actual noodles, it gets a lot harder. Yes. Um, that 
it's really enjoyable meal. It's a really enjoyable meal that I think everyone loves, unless you're like vegetarian or if you're allergic to shellfish. Then you can just add, you can go to my fried rice video and you can make fried rice or you can make and or you can make noodles with veggies. So right now we just added our noodles in. Should only take about maybe you need to wait five, four minutes. Yeah. On the stove for the shrimp to really be ready, but there's really not a specific time you have to put it on. But just when you see it's turning a little pink or when it looks like it's ready, then you can have it. So this is how our shrimp and noodles looks. So, um, wait for the sh noodles and the shrimp to just. Um, no, I can do it. When it, yeah, I can do it. So when it just sizzles out all together. You really want to make sure that it um, it's the noodles, because like in the packet, the noodles are always so um, straight, and you want to make sure that this is like you want to make sure your noodles are um, really um, movey and sizzly, and so they can actually move. Because if they're still if they're still like straight and all, and they're not being able, like you can't move them on your pan and something is wrong, so you may need to replay this video and do it all over again. But if you can't, if this is a little maybe too hard, then you can just do what, something else, whatever. Like you can do my fried rice video, you can do my fruit salad video, whatever video you think is perfect for you. Because these videos are family dinners, like cooking crafts and fun. Cooking and fun and crafts, cooking crafts and fun. Literally what it means is what we're doing. We haven't started our crafts yet, but I promise you, our crafts are gonna be off the top. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. Um, once you're done, you can actually just plate it, put it on a plate, and it's actually ready to go. This is an easy way to make um, shrimp and noodles, but when you're actually make, making noodles, like it's a lot harder, so I couldn't fit that probably. I couldn't fit that in 20 minutes. This one's probably just gonna be a 10 minute because yeah. if we're making real noodles, that's gonna take maybe 30 minutes, which is a lot of time to just are, make right. shrimp and noodles. So we're just milding it down. We're not making it too long because you wanna, you want, you may wanna let that wait for about two minutes. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, because if you, if you actually, I mean, wh the best part about making food is really learning something from it. Like, um, I learned how my grandma makes it. Like, every time I thought, I never knew how she made it. I never knew that there was pepper in here or salt. I never knew she used oil, that kind of oil. Like, there's a lot of stuff you can learn and enjoy um in cooking and i hope that you guys have learned something from my culture and the food i eat and i love like i love i don't like love food spicy food but in our culture we have a lot of spicy um dishes um but this is just a plain one because sometimes like you have a I have actually, I have a plain, like, I have a plain diet. I don't like, or not diet, but meal. I don't like, I don't love that spicy food. But I still enjoy um, having, I still, so there's very few meals that I like, especially when they're spicy. So, like, this is one of my favorite dishes. Like, I love having it. It's you can have it anytime. It's yeah. perfect. Ours is actually just done. So we're going to plate it. We can show you how we're going to plate it. Well, I mean, there's really no perfect way to plate it. You can, like, make a smiley face out of your shrimp and then put noodles or and then put the smiley face, whatever you want. You can make a flower. You can make a heart. Whatever you want. Like, if you're doing this for someone, show them how much you love them. Show them how much you care about them. Like, really show them how much you appreciate them because that's really what cooking and making crafts and this whole channel is about to really credit people and learn new cultures i hope you guys show me um or you can maybe show me 
a video. I would I would love to watch other people's videos who make some food from their culture. Um, I hope to do this again. I loved doing this. I loved when you guys got to learn a little bit about me and what the food I like. Um, I hope we can do this again. Thank you so much. Bye.